Those moratoriums are already in place there. Wink News reporter Liz Biro is live in the Cape. Liz, you just left a meeting about irrigation tonight. What are people saying? Yeah, Chris, well, while the meeting was meant to talk about irrigation, the watering schedule, fertilizer restrictions, and water quality, people spent the majority of the meeting asking the same question I hear all the time from neighbors, which is, if we don't have enough water, why are we still building? I watched one gentleman stand up and walk out after T Councilman Tom Hayden brought up how Cape Coral is only 55% built out. We still have 45% to go, so we need to conserve. People actually found that comical, laughed, and walked out. Now, if you take a listen, this is a woman who stood up and asked, do we have a plan B? What if we stay in a drought? Take a listen. Okay, so what if it doesn't get replenished? What if this is the new normal and we're basically in a drought all, you know, all the time with all these new buildings? It's just going to suck whatever reserves we have already away. You know, so I'm really worried about that. And irrigation, they say, is 50% of a household's water use. So a reminder, if you are in Northeast Cape Coral, you're only to water one day a week. Everywhere else, you get two days a week. I have more on this story on WinkNews.com. In Cape Coral, Liz Byro, Wink News.